So now we've done our rinsing of our ash four times and each time we've rinsed it and collected the water uh, it's gotten lighter and lighter. Um, that's because uh, we've leached out all the salts. Um, so what I found is each time you rinse it you get about half the amount of salts again, half the amount of salts again. So I found that three times is pretty good, uh, four times probably overdoing it, uh, but you get the picture. Now what I've found is even though we've been particular about getting out all the impurities, there's still on the bottom there's still a layer of impurities. So what I do is just very gently pour that out and make sure you don't pour out those impurities you know, the sediment. So now we're going to very gently pour it out. Remember, don't touch it. That should be fine, and all the purities are still on the bottom so we're just going to throw the rest of that one out and all we're going to do is just fill fill it up till it's almost full but that'll be fine uh, so here I've managed to put in pretty much half of our liquid uh, this will probably take a week to evaporate and so then another week to evaporate the other half and don't forget to put some sort of cover over it so you don't get any crap in there So it's pretty much done. Uh, so what we'll do is just collect it up and put it in a jar, clean jar. But what I wanted to show you was, if you look really closely, I'll see if I can zoom in on some bits, especially around the edges, uh, you'll see shoots of, shoots of crystals, and that's volatile crystals. Uh, there's some here, where my finger is it's hard probably hard to see so they're volatile crystals and that's what we'll be separating from all this a bit later and I can see some pointing at some more around the edges here oh, hang on see there's some more shooting up uh, they are yeah like I said volatile nitrates and now here I'm just using a, a little bit of a, a wooden stick to prise it off the glass because uh, it actually etches the glass so yeah so I'm just using a bit of wood to to get it all off uh, and then we'll put it in the jar and there you have it, all ready to put into this cleaned container for storage uh, with an airtight lid. Uh, and remember not touching it, so use plastic or wood, wooden spoon to put it in your glass. And there you have it. There is our wood ash salts. Pure and ready to use. Thanks for watching, catch you later.